Hey everybody, Brian here. I just wanted to show you uh, how to create a dependent variable when you're using Qualtrics to randomly assign people to different conditions, different blocks uh, in this case. So here's the survey flow from my survey. I have this randomizer. People are gonna be assigned to one of these six uh, different blocks, looking at different shapes uh, with different colors. Um, and then let's go into the survey to see what this actually does. Um, so for example, uh, here, people assigned to this blue circle are going to see this blue circle, and then they're going to respond to this question, what do you think of this image? That'll be stored in Q4 for those people. People assigned to the yellow circle are going to respond to the same question, basically, but that's going to be stored in Q6. Um, and so that's going to be spread out across all six conditions. And what we want in SPSS is for people's responses to this, what do you think of this image, to all be in one column. Um, and then we're going to differentiate which which type of image they saw with a separate uh, dummy variable the, to define the independent variable. Uh, so let's switch over to SPSS and see how to get these responses into a single column. So here we are. I already downloaded the data file, and so here's Q4, Q4, Q6, and these other uh, columns. Uh, so we want to get all of these into one variable. Um, notice that each person is only seeing one uh, condition. So each row only has one response in it. So what we really want to do is just merge everybody's response into a single column. Um, and we can do that uh, with a cool trick uh, using the sum function. So if I go to transform compute variable and call this uh, shape liking, um, and then the numeric expression, I'm just going to use the sum function. I type the word sum, open parentheses. Uh, if you need a reminder of that, that's hidden under the statistical realm, it, it shows you what that is and some formatting suggestions. We just want to separate all of our variables with uh, commas. Um, as I like to do, it's kind of hard to sort through uh, the options here unless I, I right click in here and choose display variable names. Um, and now uh, here's Q4, Q6, and so on. So I can bring these over, separate them with commas. And what that's going to do is add up all of the responses across all six columns. But since uh, it's blank for everybody except for one column, it's basically just going to bring over the value that they had in that the one column that they did answer and put them all in a single column. So it says it does that. We minimize that. And then new variables are created over on the right. And here, so everybody who responded to any of those, it's going to bring that into uh, one column. And so now we can uh, break this down. This will be our dependent variable uh, that we can use. And here, I've already created the independent variables that define which type of shape color and shape type they were looking at. Um, just as a random aside, uh, you have to use the sum function on this. If you go in here and do transform compute, and you say something like, Q4 plus Q6, you know, sort of manually put in a sum, it won't work. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. But the sum function is what we want to get everything in one column. So there it is. Uh, check that out. And if you have any questions, let me know.